Hi, I'm Debbie Orr and I'm the Health Sciences Librarian at Ohio University. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, do a search in CINAHL. Um, it's a basic search and I hope that it will help you along your way. Okay, the first thing you want to do is to be on the Ohio University uh, webpage. Um, this is the main page and you want to go to your databases uh, tab click on databases and because we're this is CINAHL we can find databases by name so all you need to do is type in CINAHL C -I -N, C -I -N -A -H -L. it doesn't matter if it's capital letters or small letters it gets you to the same place hit search and then you'll come up to this um, page and you want to click on CINAHL plus with full text Okay, this is the um, search page that you want to use, and we are going to um, search um, for diabetes complications. And hit search. Okay. Diabetes complications uh, brings you up 23,000 results. That's way too many results and you want to um, wheedle it down a little bit. You can see that our publication date goes all the way back to 1940 with the um, most current being 2012. You probably not need to um, get that much historical data so what you want to do is change the date by clicking on the date and you can change change it let's go to oh I don't know 2006 click update okay that takes it down to 15,000 results okay you can now um, determine what you want to um, do there's a source type down here you can change it to just all results is what we have right now academic journals, magazines, books, pamphlets, or dissertations. For the majority of the time, you'll want to uh, just use academic journals. Okay. Okay, that's still probably too much um, reading that you want to do, but just for the sake of time and um, demonstration I will um, go over here and show you uh, some other things um, on on the uh, left hand side you can tell that it's an academic journal the prevention of complications of diabetes oral therapies for TD2 um, at the side here you can click on this and it would show you more information um, this might also be where it would have a um, abstract. Let's try the number two here and see there's your abstract then. You can you can read your abstract. Um, you can also click on the title to get your abstract as well. The minor subject headings uh, you can always use to um, hone in on your, um, uh, your your topic to be more specific. Okay. Um, on the left hand side here you can find it in PDF full text and all you need to do is click on that um, and it will bring up the, the, the PDF for you and at this time you can save it you can print it um, or you can just read it that's entirely up to you If for some reason it doesn't have a PDF full text attached to it, you will find one of these little find it keys. Um, you might want to click on it uh, to see if it is available. Uh, this article is available in the EJC, that's Ohio Links Electronic Journal Center, and you can click on that and it will bring it up. Um, it first brings up your abstract and then you can click on the PDF full text to get the full text. And again, you can um, print it, you can read it, or you can um, save it to your desktop. Um, if you want to find out what kind of publications are within CINAHL, you can go to a pub the publications page 
and it, it's an alphabetical um, list of all the um, journals that are available within CINAHL. Um, sometimes you need to know if it's a peer-reviewed journal or not, and you can also find that information out by going to the publication page. Okay, well I hope that this, um, this uh, little tutorial helped you and if you have any other questions, uh, please do not hesitate to give me a call or shoot me an email. Thank you.